Hey, this is George Nicholas, and I've been asked by Audio Technology to do a bit of a run through on um, the drum sound on this Winston Surf Shirt um, Be About You track, uh, which I mix. So, yeah, the objective kind of was to give the drums a bit more snap, like make the snare snap a bit more, um, give everything a little bit more weight. You can hear that. Just doesn't it just doesn't hit hard enough for the rest of the song. Um, so yeah, adding lower mid energy to the snare drum um, and kind of taking away lower mid energy from the kick drum, really. So this is the unprocessed kick, um, and I just used this VX boom thing, which just adds a little bit more kind of thump to the kick drum. I think it's mostly just dynamic EQ, um, but it's easy and it's fast and it usually sounds pretty good. Like, job done. Um, then using a gate to just get rid of some of the um, later energy of the kick drum. Um, it just kind of carries on a little bit too long and I'm doing some compression later on, I think. So um, just getting rid of, just attenuating some of the later part of the kick meant that it just didn't sort of rumble around for too long in the track. Binaural pan, which is just like Studio One's um, like width control, just pulling down some of the information on the sides um, to make it a little bit more centered and full in the middle. And then this EQ, which is doing very little, just boosting at 5K. So that's the lower portion of the kick drum, the kind of more subby one. And then there's this secondary one, which is just giving it a bit of sort of uh, punch, I guess, and a little bit of character in the tops, but it's not as loud, it's not as important either. But yeah, so just using this to sort of bring out some more harmonics and then, you know, this, which is again, just getting rid of some of those lower mids, which were just making it a little bit kind of pokey. Um, all right, and then that's the, both these are going into a bus, a, drum, a kick drum bus. It's actually a lot, I usually don't do this much processing on drum sounds, but this is a pretty serious EQ move. Yeah, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's getting rid of a lot of that mid-range stuff and centering a lot more of the kick in the kind of sub-region, which I think just sounds good with the rest of the track and the bass. Um, and then a bit of compression. Um, and then, yeah, just giving a little bit more emphasis in the kind of mid-range. So yeah, from this, To this pretty drastic change but all right let's look at the snare drum now um, snare is pretty simple pretty serious EQ again just adding like emphasis to the like fundamental of the snare which was around here so that's probably the most important one just giving it a bit of tone and giving it a bit of weight um, and giving it a bit more kind of crack in the high frequencies then using this like decapitator again just to saturate it. I love that plugin. This Kramer tape thing is amazing as well. It's a really good, um, yeah, tape saturation plugin. But I often use it for sort of more like a compressor um, because it sort of always dulls the transients. So it takes away a lot of the snap, um, but it does so in a really nice kind of musical way. This, which is just giving it loads more low end at 100 hertz, that seems really low, but um, seems necessary. Um, and then getting rid of some of the, the high frequency snap up here, or the high frequency like, just all that stuff which I don't think was necessary. Just made it a little bit harsh as well, so taking out a bit of 5K. Finally, yeah, just uh, another taps, tape saturator. Um, I'm not putting the kick drums through the um, through this drum bus um, just because it would just destroy it, the the kick drum. It just it's this is this can do really awful things to your to your low end. It can do really great things to your low end, but it can really destroy the shape of your your um, your drum sounds if you push it too hard. So so this is what we started out with the, the drums at the start, which. just sounded, uh, just the frequencies weren't sort of aligning where I wanted them to line. I wanted more kind of 
sub frequencies and um, less kind of woofiness. Um, so the drums sound like this in isolation. And then 